Okay, here's a quick video on an electric corn sheller I just got built. Uh, I picked about two trailer loads of this field corn and it's been drying out. And what I started out with about a week ago was trying to shell some of this stuff by hand and it was just not going very well. So I went on YouTube and was looking at some different ideas and, and stuff and this seemed to be the easiest most common one and all it is is a piece of uh, inch and a quarter schedule 40 pipe uh, or thin wall tubing and it can either have a, a set of cutting teeth on one end and then that worked okay and then i just put some cutter bars on the other end and what you do is you you hold this and uh, take the cob and either spin it by hand back and forth or you can put a lag screw uh, in a drill and run that into the center of the cob and then spin it with the drill. And what I found out was some of this corn, it works okay, but uh, a lot of it, the, uh, the center of the cob was still just a little too soft. So the lag screw wouldn't bite into it and it'd just strip out so you were left doing it all by hand and it just wasn't going very well and so what i come up with is i made this cutter out of a scrap piece of pipe and what it's got in it is is just four cutter bars and they're spaced about an inch and a quarter apart and you hold this in your left hand and take the the cob in your right hand and spin it back and forth and and it shells the corn that works okay, but it's pretty slow going and the kernels end up flying about everywhere. So what I ended up doing is I went on eBay and I found this uh, Bodine used electric motor and it's got a right angle gear reduction box on it. And it's a one tenth horsepower motor and the output shaft is uh, actually it comes out to like 43 rpms what the tag says on it and i was looking at it and i thought that's just spinning really too slow so what i ended up making was uh, i made two sets of gear or a set of gears and it actually speeds things up from 43 rpm up to 72 and all i did was water jet them out on my uh, cutting table and I got a piece right here of inch and a half schedule 40 pipe that I cut to 14 inches long and I bought a pair of these uh, pillow block bearings that are an inch and 15 sixteenths and they slide right over that inch and a half pipe you don't have to do any machine work or nothing on them uh, and then you just tighten the lock collars up and and it it works perfectly and I'll I'll plug this in right now and let you watch it. Then on the front side, I used the same principle with the four cutter bars. And uh, they just sit there and go round and round and round and then I build a shroud to kind of keep the kernels from flying all over everywhere. And what you do, if I can do this with one hand, uh, you take a, a full cob with the kernels on it and you just stick it in there and it shells all the kernels off. And let me see if I can try doing this with a full one here. So you take it and you just hold on to it. And you shell it. So you get down to the end flip it around out she comes Nice and quiet. The shroud keeps all the kernels from going all over everywhere. And this looks like it's gonna be a great way to make some 
chicken feed and then we also are grinding a bunch of this up uh, for corn flour and cornmeal uh, make some grits uh, cornbread tortillas that sort of thing so uh, that's what I come up with uh, and basically all it is is a, a motor with a gear reduction box uh, piece of inch and a half schedule 40 pipe and two pillow block bearings so uh, thanks for watching